Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today I want to make a video comparing the very, very popular Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper Jacket to the REI Co-op brand jacket that is very similar. I'm going to make this comparison video because I was surprised at how much better I liked the REI version to the Ghost Whisperer. I thought I would love the Ghost Whisperer because I have only seen great reviews about it and it's super lightweight, great for ultralight backpacking, and you pretty much can't go wrong, right? So. I purchased it and I didn't like it as much as the comparable REI jacket. So I thought what a great opportunity to make this video for you guys because the REI alternative jacket is much cheaper. So let's just put that out there. The Ghost Whisperer jacket runs $350. That is a huge amount of money to spend on a down jacket. Granted it's great quality, it's made well, it's super lightweight but so is the REI brand. So let's get into it. So the only seeable difference is that the REI jacket does not have a hood. The Ghost Whisper also comes without a hood if you want it to. Um, it is a little bit cheaper if you get it without the hood. So this is the REI version of the coat. There are two versions of this. There's one that comes in a 650 down fill and there's one that comes in an 850 down fill. The 650 fill is $99.95, so $100, and the 850 fill, which is a little more comparable to the Ghost Whisperer, runs at $185. So let's, let's try this on. I just wanted to show you how it fits. So the reason why I like this one better is because it fits me better. As you can see here, these sleeves have a seam. So the sleeves are sewn on and there's a shoulder seam right here and it fits me very, very, very well as you can see. The sleeves are perfectly long enough. Um, they're not too long, they're not too short when I put my arms down. They're just, they're just long enough. And then I have this little neck piece that goes up like this. So the 650 fill as well as the 850 fill fit the same way. They're just, one is puffier than the other because it has more feathers in it. So this is the 650 fill. It's very warm and it has a super nice cut. It fits me very well. There's pockets. Yes, I love it. I got it for $99. It's very, very awesome. Super lightweight. It runs at 8.8 .8 ounces. And the 850 fill is also 8.8 .8 ounces. There's no weight difference between these two. Now let's try on the Ghost Whisperer. This is the Ghost. I forgot to mention the REI one, I have in an extra small. I bought a small in the Ghost Whisperer. Let me zip it up here. So the Ghost Whisperer is 800 fill, and again, it has this hood. So, the reason I didn't like it was because this small size, as you can see, is very big on me right here. Granted, I have no boobs, so if I had boobs, it probably wouldn't be as big here. But it, there's a lot of extra fabric right here. So it's very loose right here. And then for some reason, it's super tight on the shoulders. Because as you can see, this one has no shoulder seams. So it's all one panel. Um, the shoulder seams go up at an angle right here. So there's nothing that's, that like forms your shoulders. So the fabric that goes over my shoulder, and granted, I don't have big shoulders. <laughs> Whenever I buy blazers and stuff like that, it's always too big in the shoulders. Like it fits me everywhere else and it's like gigantic. 
So I'm, I would say I have smaller sh on the smaller shoulder side. So anyone that has any kind of bigger shoulders than me, this would not fit. So as you can see, the fabric here is a little bit tight, which on a down jacket, you do not want it tight. It's better to have it just a little loose than too tight. If it's tight right here, it compresses the down and you're gonna uh, lose the, the warmth value of it. Plus I can feel it, like when I stand here, I can feel the pressure of it being too tight, which I don't like. And for this expensive of a jacket, I'm not willing to have it fit like that. Plus the sleeves are way too long. Look how long that sleeve is. I can like put my arm in it. I don't understand how this is a small size. Like I can put both my hands in the sleeves and I feel like that's way too long because then I have to like bunch it up elsewhere and then there's way too much fabric in the sleeves. So I think it fits me very odd. I don't know if I've got a weirdly sewn jacket or if it generally fits like that. I haven't seen bad reviews on this jacket, but for how much money this costs, it needs to fit me well. And because I'm losing warmth here on the shoulders, and the, the stitching is likely to break because it is tight on my shoulders, let's say I'm hiking with a backpack, that's gonna easily break. I think that's asking for trouble right there. So I personally would recommend going with the REI brand. Um, granted, it doesn't come with a hood, so this is the hood. I mean, it's really nice and toasty, super warm. It weighs uh, 7.9 ounces, so you are getting a little bit of an ounce reduction Plus, you don't necessarily have to take a hat because you do have the hood if you're backpacking. However, I'm not going to sleep with my jacket on in my sleeping bag. So I'm going to take a hat regardless of whether my jacket has a hood. So at that point, I would be taking this jacket and a hat anyways. So there isn't at that point going to be much of a weight difference because I'm going to take a hat anyway. Granted, the other jacket is a little bit heavier, but not that much. So for the cost, if you're buying the Ghost Whisper for full price at $350, now you can find it cheaper sometimes, um, but if you're buying it at $350, and you go with the REI version, the 850 fill, you are saving $165 by buying the REI jacket. So I'm just putting that out there. This didn't fit me all too well. I don't know if any of you have had this same issue. I think the REI is a great jacket. I would go with that one as opposed to the Ghost Whisperer. I know a lot of you are preparing to go on your through hikes here in just a couple of months and you're buying jackets and looking at all sorts of reviews and stuff and I know that like all of the through hikers have this jacket and wear this jacket and it's sort of like a through hiker thing to have the ghost whisper but honestly I don't think it is worth $350. I almost feel like it's very delicate too Compared to the REI one, like when I look at it in the light, I can see all of the stitching um, and all of the all of the baffles and stuff. I mean, I can on the other one a little bit too, but I feel like the fabric is very, very thin. And I have actually heard in a few reviews that the fabric is thin and that one thing that people would change about this jacket is the fact that it rips easily. So let me take the camera off the tripod and see if I can show you what I mean about seeing through the fabric. Okay, so you can see it. You can see the light coming through the fabric here. You can see the feathers and then at each seam you can see where there's more light and that's the seam right there. 
so the fabric is very 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 thin as you can see here which kind of is disconcerting especially if you're on a through hike and uh, it snags I know people have repaired it with duct tape and stuff like that but that's not really the level of durability that a $350 coat is supposed to have Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this comparison video. Like I said, I prefer the REI Co-op jacket to the Ghost Whisper. I will be returning my Ghost. This is the 650 fill down and I will be getting the 850 fill for my through hike just to be a little bit warmer. Again, this one is just a little bit heavier as opposed to the Ghost, but you are saving $165, which is amazing. And frequently REI does have sales, especially on their branded stuff. Even if other brands aren't on sale, frequently REI stuff will be on sale, especially this time of year. So take a look at the sales, get yourself one of these coats, and you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next adventure.